For this problem, we have a data set that represents the number of pages 15 students read from their assigned novel during class. We have to determine which box plot correctly summarizes the data. So the first thing that we have to do with the data set is make sure that it is ordered from least to greatest. And as you can see, this data set is already ordered for us. The next thing that we want to do is figure out where the median value is. The median value of this data set is going to be right in the middle or right in the center. And we have 15 data points, which is an odd number. And whenever you have an odd data set, there is going to be a middle number that you can just circle. So what I like to do when we have an odd number is to take that number and subtract 1, which would be 14, and then divide that number by 2, which is 7. So we're going to count off that many numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then circle the next number. And the reason we did that is because if I were to take away this median, which is one of the 15 numbers, we would have 14 numbers remaining. And if we divide 14 by 2, that would tell us how many numbers we have before the median and how many numbers we have after the median. Now, if you take a look at these box plots, we should understand that the line located somewhere in the middle of the box will indicate what the median is of that box plot. So for box plot A, if we go where this line is directly below to our number line, we can see that 16 is the median value. However, we are trying to find a box plot with a median value of 14. So we can eliminate choice A as a possibility. If we take a look at choice B, its median is 14. Choice C has a median of 16. And choice D has a median of 16 as well. So we can eliminate choices C and D, leaving us only with choice B. So we have quickly determined that box plot B matches up with the given data set.